defeat today against Halifax. Your assessment of the game? Yeah, obviously very disappointed. I think you know, first half we had a lot of good periods and, and we had chances to, to come in more than one nil ahead. Um, but in the second period we, we didn't deal with our key players and um, you know, the goals they scored were far too easy and very uncharacteristic as, of those as a team. Um, and in any game of football, um, the opposition are going to have periods and you've got to come through those periods you know, as a team strong and resilient and we didn't today, you know, we needed to, to deal in and around our box in those 1v1 situations and, and the, the goals were too, too easy for, for uh, Halifax to score today and that's disappointing for us because we've been in an amazing run uh, the lads have you know, responded terrifically well in other games today we didn't um, and you know, we were second best for a period in that second half and, and it's cost us. You mentioned almost the uncharacteristic defending today. What do you maybe attribute that to? Um, yes, it's difficult to, at this stage for me to put my, my finger on it because, I say, last week Oldham was a game where we completely dominated, and it was almost in the second period when, when Halifax had that spell. It was almost we weren't ready for it. And um, like I said, you know, any team in any level has got players who can hurt you if you don't deal with them properly. And, and we'd highlighted a couple of the Halifax players who we felt were dangerous, as we always do in any game. And we've got to be honest, as a group, um, that we weren't strong enough in dealing with those in, in key situations. Um, but listen, we'll, we'll look at the game and closely on the way back tonight and uh, analyse that and make sure we respond on Monday. You mentioned there a terrific run that we have been on, 27 unbeaten in the league. What's the mood of the players like in the dressing room? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're obviously quiet, which you'd expect, because we're not used to, to losing games of football. We've been on an amazing run. Um, but also, we've got to be honest as well. And, you know, in that period, in the second period, when the uh, second half were, you know, Halifax had the tails up and, and were closing us down and were, were first to it, you know, we didn't respond how a Rexton team normally does. And um, we've got to look at that carefully and make sure that you know we, we respond with a, with a good performance across the, the 90 minutes on Monday. On to Monday, then no better way, no better game really than to kickstart another unbeaten run. Yeah, that's right. It's um, you know, a game everyone's been looking forward to. We'd love to come into it on the back of a win. We haven't. Um, but now we need to, to respond uh, as a group. Um, look at what we did well in that first period and, and some of the football we played was great. Uh, but so you know, why you know in that period when we were up against it that we needed to be stronger and, and see that period through and, and come through unscathed. Uh, but you know I'm confident the lads and, and all the staff you know will regroup for Monday. Tremendous support here today. No doubt on Monday it'll be the same again, if not better. Yeah, it's great support, and um, you know, I feel for the supporters. We've given many good days on the on the travels and at home. Today isn't one of those. We know that, um, and you know, thank them all for the support and. Uh, especially staying behind at the end to, to clap the lads. Um, but listen, yeah, they'll be hurting because they're used to seeing their team win. And if we don't win or, or draw, it will show a little bit more, well, a lot more than, than we did in that second period. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. Thank you.